Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about what is backlog in Azure boards okay so what is a backlog now if i have to explain this to you layman a backlog is nothing but it's just a amount of task or amount of work items that is left behind for your team to work upon right so you can imagine backlog as a repository of the requirements okay so it's a place where all your requirement resides for example if you are working on if there is a new requirement or new enhancement generally what you do is you create it in a form of epic or use stories and put it into the backlog so whenever there is a sprint whenever the a sprint starts you pull the items from the backlog and i and start working on your sprints accordingly okay so i will walk you through what is sprint and how do how does a sprint works in our future videos but for now we'll just focus on backlogs alone all right so if we start looking at the definition your product backlog corresponds to your project plan the road map for what your team plans to deliver okay basically it's the amount of work that needs to be done for future to deliver your project on time okay so that's what product backlog is all about you create product backlog by adding user stories backlog items or requirements right so it depends it varies according to the different method development methodologies that you use across but in general whatever new work items or new requirements that come across you will add it in, in in the form of user stories or futures or epics and put it into the backlog all right so in general your backlog consists of list of work items you know you use work items to share information we already saw about work items in our previous video right so you can just relate to that so work items is used to share information assign work to team members track dependencies and organize the work okay this is what the list of we can use the list of work items in the backlog right so backlogs defined for each default processor there are you know different kind of backlog items that is defined for each and every uh, methodology right so if you are working on agile there is a, a story feature and epic if you are using a basic it will be issues and epics if you are working on a scrum methodology you will have backlog items features and epics if you are working on cmmi methodology you have requirements features and epics okay so it, it depends on various uh, uh, develop, development methodologies you are working across and you know there are options to customize these as well all right we'll see this in our we'll see this in our example okay so that you will have a very clear understanding right so i am i moved back to my azure portal where um, you know in if you switch back your memory to my previous video i created a new project and a call project online devops demo and uh, started creating work items in our previous video right so we'll just use the same example here and so yeah if you look at the left hand pan side we have something called boards okay this is what we are focusing on for now so in our previous videos we spoke about work items this particular tab and there's something called boards okay so you know i will come to this boards uh, later because boards will make more sense when you understand all other terms okay we'll first focus on backlog sprints and queries and delivery plans and then finally i'll come to boards right so for now we'll focus on backlogs alone so i'm just clicking on backlogs so this is a backlog view of of the project project online devops demo in case if you want to select a different project also you can select it from here like if i want to look at online team backlog i can i can look at it here currently it doesn't have any items on the backlog but this is how you can switch team in your backlog window right so um, for demo purposes i have already created few items in my backlog i have created couple of user stories okay so i have few i have one epic as well so i have added an epic uh, called online add new payment gift card i have added a future as well called feature one and i have added user stories as well right similarly say uh, this is where backlog will be you can reorder or reprioritize your backlog items for example this mode to the priority one gift card i just dragged and dropped it right so this is how you can prioritize uh, the items in your backlog in case if you want to add a new work item work item also you can add say um say gift card with with 
credit card all right so i'm just this is a new requirement i've got so i'm just trying to add a user story called gift card with credit card a business now wants to test how the credit card functionality goes along with gift card so this is a new requirement and i've added this new requirement into my backlog okay so now i have all the items in my backlog so based on my priority i can drag and drop these items so whenever a new sprint starts generally what you do is you pick these items you pick these items and start working on it accordingly okay so say if tomorrow you are starting a sprint and you are sitting in a sprint planning session and you generally what you do is you just pick the user stories on priority so here we have a priority one user story called add new option called gift card in payment page so i will pull this into my sprint and start working on it accordingly okay so there's a different view there are analytics view and all currently we have not done any planning and all right so you will not have any details here but i will walk you through this at the last when we have a complete project and uh, when we added all the planning details perfectly okay and there are if you uh, if you look at the uh, backlog window here so there's an option to add new work items you know and there is a view as a board option so there is something called boards okay i will come to this part finally as i said like we have something called boards uh, i will come to that part finally because it would make more sense for you to understand the board uh, when we have all things in place all right so now i'm just switching back to the previous window so we have column options as well in case if you want to add any new columns also you can add like we have work item type we have something called state we have story points value iteration path tags every any any new column if you want to add existing column you can add and there is an option to add new column also you can just add a new column according to your project requirements and click on okay to save it okay so this is another part and you have option to create query and email so these two um, options we'll cover in cover later because we have a query section which i will cover there and there's an email option too which you can email to your team okay with the, uh, with the product backlog items and boards all these things you can share it as an in an email to your team okay and you can see you can select your uh, your backlog type like if you want to look at epics you can look at here you can select epics if you want to look at features you can select features if you want to look at user stories you can select the user stories okay and there's a option there's a view options tab okay so here you have a lot of tabs which you can on and off depending upon your project requirements okay so in general when you work on a project um, you know if you want to show your show or id or work parent work items then you can use this particular switch Okay, similarly if you want to see forecasting also you can click on this forecasting okay if you want to show in progress work item you can click on this if you want to uh, hide the completed child item works then you can click on select the on button here and um, there's something called side pen mapping planning and off so mapping means you you can map your work items here there's a mapping tab here so you can work you can map these tabs uh, work items accordingly do not worry i will make a clear detailed video about all these things in future so we have something called mapping we have something called planning currently planning won't have any information because we have not planned anything right so once we plan the efforts and all you can see all the items in detail here okay again i will cover this in detail in my future videos the purpose of this video is just to focus on this ui part of this backlog so that you will have a clear understanding about what and all items backlog involves with all right and there is an option to filter as well okay you can filter the user stories based on keyword uh, the type uh, to whom it has been assigned to what are the what is the state of the uh, user story uh, tags any user defined tags uh, what iteration what sprint it is and where there are other multiple filter areas which you can use to filter your backlog items and there's something called configure team settings okay so if i click on this settings yeah you can see there's a backlog item so if you what and all types do you want to show in your backlog so there are, if i 
unselect epics and save and close epics will not be visible here it's right so there is no epics if you look at this epics went off so you can customize the backlog type that you need accordingly to your project requirements okay and one other thing that i want to generally show is working with bugs okay so generally bugs uh, uh, people do not add it in a backlog bugs are something um, need to be fixed then and there so in certain teams they do not add the bug to the backlog and it will not be visit, visible on the boards as well but in the requirement will vary according to the team so so how do you deal with your bugs is something you have to select it here so do bugs is bugs managed with requirements is bugs managed with tasks or bugs are managed are not managed on backlogs or boards so based on your requirements you have to select this for now i am i'm just leaving it like bugs are managed with task but it may vary according to the project requirements by default it will not be visible under board so this is something you have to note when you work with bugs in your sprints or backlogs all right um, okay. save and close all right there's an option to maximize this backlog window too all right so this is a minimize and maximize option which we have here in our backlog window all right i think yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this backlogs video okay just to reiterate backlog is nothing but the amount of work items amount of work that is left for my team to complete okay so all the uncompleted work or new user stories or new requirements will be added in my backlog window here and whenever i start working on the sprint i will pull items from this backlog and start working on it accordingly okay fine guys that's all what i want to cover as part of this backlog video i will make few detailed videos about all these tabs present here in this backlog window and i will continue with the series regarding sprints queries boards in our upcoming videos all right if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you